Sufism is a mystical form of Islam, a school of practice that emphasizes the inward search for God and shuns materialism. It has produced some of the world's most beloved literature, like the love poems of the 13th century Iranian jurist Rumi. Its modern day adherents cherish tolerance and pluralism, qualities that in many religions unsettle extremists. But Sufism, often known as Islamic mysticism, has come under violent attack in recent years. On Friday, militants stormed a Sufi mosque on the Sinai Peninsula, killing at least 305 people in what officials are calling the worst terrorist attack in Egypt's modern history. The attack followed several assaults on Sufi shrines in Pakistan over the past year carried out by Sunni extremists. The vast majority of Sufis are Sunni, though some are Shiite. What is this form of Islamic belief, and why has it come under assault? Sufism, known as Tazawuf in the Arabic-speaking world, is a form of Islamic mysticism that emphasizes introspection and spiritual closeness with God. While it is sometimes misunderstood as a sect of Islam, it is actually a broader style of worship that transcends sex, directing followers' attention inward. Sufi practice focuses on the renunciation of worldly things, purification of the soul and the mystical contemplation of God's nature. Followers try to get closer to God by seeking spiritual learning known as tariqa. Confusion about Sufism is common, even among Muslims, according to Imam Faisal Abdul Rauth, an American Sufi cleric of Egyptian descent who preached in New York City for many years and founded the Cordoba House, which promotes a moderate image of Islam in the West. It is nothing more than the spiritual dimension of Islam, the cleric, who goes by Imam Faisal, said in a phone interview. It is Islam, but we focus on meditation, on chanting sessions, which enable the Muslim to have his or her heart open. The myths people have about Sufis are analogous to the myths people have about Muslims. For a time, beginning in the 12th century, Sufism was a mainstay of the social order for Islamic civilization, and since that time it has spread throughout the Muslim world, and to China, West Africa and the United States. As Sufism spread, it adapted elements of local culture and belief, making it a popular practice. Alexander Dknysh, a professor of Islamic studies at the University of Michigan and expert in modern Sufism, describes it as a very wide, amorphous movement practiced within both the Sunni and Shiite traditions. Sufism has shaped literature and art for centuries, and is associated with many of the most resonant pieces of Islam's golden age, lasting from roughly the 8th through 13th centuries, including the poetry of Rumi. In modern times, the predominant view of Sufi Islam is one of love, peace, tolerance, Mr. Knysh explained, leading to this style of worship becoming synonymous with peace-loving Islam. While some Muslims view Sufis as quirky, even eccentric, some fundamentalists and extremists see Sufism as a threat, and its adherents as heretics or apostates. In February, Militants aligned with the Islamic State attacked worshippers at the tomb of a Sufi philosopher in a remote part of southern Pakistan, killing more than 80 people, whom the militants described as polytheists. 